So as part of the rebuild, I'm uh, refinishing the stock. It had a, a couple of dings and scratches in it. And uh, it's a long-winded process. But uh, what I'm doing basically is I'm using fine grade sandpaper. And uh, I found these really useful for getting into the into the sculptured corners and all those really difficult places to get to. But uh, that's the first sanding done. It feels lovely now. It feels really lovely and smooth. Uh, I'll give it a coat of first coat of true oil just see if I can point out any uh, imperfections. I've got some nice lint-free cloth as well for applying it. So looking forward to a good finish with a bit of look. This is the CS stock so far. Um, this is all true oil, nothing else, no filler, no sealer, no nothing. Um, so uh, it's got numerous coats on it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some fine uh, steel wool and flat it back prior to the next coat. So quite simply, a little bit of time. Just flatten it back, taking off all the high spots. So as you can see it's going dull. Now this is really really fine steel wool. And I'll not uh, bore you with showing you the rest, I'll show you when it's uh, all flattened off. Okay, <clears throat> so it's all flattened off, as you can see now it's, it's dull, uh, but smooth. Um, I can still feel grain there, so we're not, we're not close yet, but uh, I can show you the next process. Um, tissue paper, just kitchen roll that is, which I scrunch up. And then... Uh, I've got some uh, lint-free cloth, so all that is, it's got all these bits of stringy bits on the sides, but there's no sort of like furry bits that can come off it. And what I do is I wrap up uh, the tissue paper in the, in the cloth to give me a pad for spreading the true oil with. Now the true oil, it's not so important now on the top coats, but when I get down to it, um, True oil on the on the edge here, like you get all this, this these hard bits. So the way to avoid getting them in your finished part is to put the true oil on the actual tissue pad like that, and then wrap your tissue pad in the lint-free cloth like that. Then. You can rub it on, and I'm after very fine, thin coats. So I put it on thin, and I spread it a long way. And that's the process. And you just build those coats up to a finish that you are happy with. The more coats you put on, the glossier it gets, the bigger the depth of shine, the more you flat it back and smooth it out and keep repeating the process, the better the finish. Long process, worth it in the end. So there you go, that's the, uh, the first coat after flatting applied and you can see, get that back in, you can see we're starting to build the shine back up in, I don't know if you can tell from this, the smoothness, you get that nice smooth finish that I'm after. Still a little bit grainy, but to be honest, I think I'm fairly happy with that. It feels lovely. Coat number three. After the... Uh...
So this is uh, six more coats down the line. This is wet. Just uh, just put the the sixth coat on, and the next thing is I'm going to flat it back again. But this time I'm going to flat it wet, and I'm going to use um, this is a fine sponge sanding pad that I've chopped up and I'm going to use that for flattening it back just to get it super smooth ready for final coats but yeah it's looking uh, it's looking pretty decent I'm going to flat it again but this time um, I've got a pad of um, fine it's not emery is it but um, sanding pad <coughs> I'm going to use that um, applying true oil so that way I'm just gonna flatten everything off and get the thing nice and smooth or smooth there but working on that the quality of that finish Okay. So what does that do for us? Let's have a look. Uh, basically now we've got a much flatter, uh, duller finish. But if you look close up, it's actually helped to fill some of the grain. And we get a nice smooth sheen to it. So I think that'll do as far as uh, grain filling is concerned now. Um, the future coats, I think I'm ready for putting on final coats as far as trawl is concerned. Right, there we go. <clears throat> so after the flatting, I've put on four or five more coats. I'm getting fairly happy with it now, so last coat of true oil, I think. Uh, usual routine pad, true oil onto the pad. And cover it over with a lint free cloth, like so. And now I'll start there. There we go. Hopefully, last coat to draw. Right, here we go. This has now got lots of coats on it, all done. The super fine coats built up over, I don't know, maybe 15 or 16 coats. Now, what you get is you get, when you feel it, it doesn't feel like super smooth. It's got like little tiny rough bits in it. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut it back with a bit of fine uh, uh, cutting compound. So, um, the stuff I use for this is basically car cutting stuff, but I don't use tea cut, I use something finer. It's, it's for Eckler and it's, it's uh, finer than tea cut. But this is just to get the, uh, the finer parts, though, if there's any slightly rough bits or feel slightly rough to the touch just to get them so it's all nice and smooth and I'm going to keep away from the checkering I'm, I don't want to get to this stuff in there I just want to smooth it all out ok 
Okay, now you can see, I hope, the uh, the finish that we're getting there. It is, it is beautiful. It's like a uh, lovely gloss sheen. I'll, uh, I'll carry on and show you at the end. Right, there you go folks. Polished. Now this is nothing but true oil. <clears throat> uh, lots of coats applied thinly. There you go. True oil. Beautiful finish. Beautiful finish. That's why they use it for guitars. It's really, really nice.